Namibia is the world's third most underpopulated country and with a thousand miles of the famous skeleton coast between its two neighbours, Angola and South Africa, even these fish-packed surf beaches around our base, Swakopun, rarely become crowded. For both wildlife and our target species, sharks, Namibia is simply no equal. And to start our adventure, my son Lee and I have arranged to meet up with our German guide, Otmar Liepert, in the local aquarium. Well, this is nice, Lee, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, wherever you go in the world, if you want to find out what you're liable to catch, then visit the local aquarium. This is marvellous, Otmar. What's the uh, most common species we're liable to catch here? The most common species on fish is cabello. Cabello. They're those, aren't they? Yeah, yes. They looks like there's two or three different types in here as well, isn't there? Yeah, we get some from Angola. This is the black one. And then we got the silver cop from Namibia. I see we've got some stingrays in here. What sort of stingrays are they? Yeah, we got on top there, we got the blue stingray and we can catch three different rays in Namibia. Mm. And the sharks we've got in here, are we liable to catch any of these? Yes, uh, we will catch the spotted gully shark. It's a very good fighter and you get him at the rocks. Following recent gales, the sea was still incredibly rough. Yet these South African anglers were enjoying the cabio fishing just south of Orvis Bay. There were plenty of fish in the 6 to 10 pounds range, less than 80 yards from the shore too. But Lee and I rather had our sights set on something very much larger. Before we started, however, Otmar suggested we drive by the huge fur seal colony at Pelican Point. And we quickly discovered why this is called the Skeleton Coast. Ships running aground on the reefs being a regular occurrence. These are all Cape fur seals and there are close on one and a half million of them, actually outnumbering Namibia's people. They're very similar to sea lions, except that their fur is far thicker. The males can weigh anything up to 800 pounds apiece, and each services between 40 and 60 females, which produce a single pup annually. But let's get on with the fishing. Otmar has decided to take us north of Swakopun to mile 20 where hopefully we can cut our teeth on some hard-fighting spotted gully sharks. I must get one of these rod holders for my own 4x4 back home. As we're not expecting big sharks here, we're using heavy mono traces, 6-0 hooks and fresh mullet heads for bait. There's a lot of ocean floors to search here, so taking time to observe wave formations and where rocky gullies might exist before casting can only improve chances of a pickup. My beach caster, incidentally, is 14 and a half feet long and the real line is 30 pound test, joined via Bimini twist knot to a 100 pound test shot leader. Otmar, how long do you tend to leave it in between casts when you're fishing mullet heads? It depends. If you've got small fish and crabs in the water, you leave it maybe five minutes. <laughs> if you haven't got crabs in the water and small fish, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, up to a half an hour. When you take your bite out of the water and you press it like this and water still, is coming out, still look got at blood this. in it, yeah. You see? Then it's 100 percent But when there's no more blood coming out, you change it. Yeah. They're good baits those, aren't they? Yeah. Hang on, my rod's coming. Well, it's, 
lonely to be back on the beach again, Leo. Yeah, we think it is. Well, I don't know. I think it's probably a a gully shark or a pound shark. Good bite, though. You see yeah. the way that yeah, yeah, yeah. rod went over? There's something about surf fishing, you know, that you know the salt up your nostrils and ro whoa, rod tips going over. I've really got to pile the pressure on this fish because we've got a lot of kelp in between the, it and us. I don't think it's a monster, but you can't afford to let it get stuck in that kelp. It's going well, though. <laughs> That's a good bite, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. That was a good, good bite. It's coming now. Otmar's just clearing those other rods, and then we'll um, we'll see what this is. There's such a swell on at the moment. I mean, these conditions make it so hard, don't they, mm. for fishing? For getting the bait out there, and more importantly, for keeping it out there. Oh, it's coming now. It's coming in now. It's coming. Let's walk slowly down. You've got to watch these muscle shells, Lee. Yeah, they're a bit I sharp. Think, I think they can split your foot open if you're not very careful. The trace is there. Yeah, you can see the, the rubbing leader. Now then, let's see what it is first. Caught around a lump of kelp at the moment. Ah. Oh, I can feel it grating. It's a, cat, it's a catfish, isn't it? Is it? Nice shark. Quickly, get out and run to shore with it. Lovely. Three. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, that's a nice start, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to hold the rod a second? And we'll have a good look at it. Just turn this over, see whether... You can see all the kelp out there. It's tangled everything up here. Oh, Mar, do you want to give us some okay. time with this? <laughs> okay. Okay, just leave them. Well, that's a nice fish, Lee, isn't it? Yeah, Let's lovely. just get this. Oh, it's only just in that hook. Look at those teeth. Raspers. They're not like true canines. They've just got these sort of bands of little serrated teeth. But you wouldn't want to put your hand in there, would you, Mark? No, that can hurt you. <laughs> and just like we saw it, whoops, just like we saw in the aquarium, They've got this beautiful spotted, haven't they? Lovely body. They're very much like our tote back home, aren't they? Very so similar. The coloration's even nicer. What's this, about 20 pounds? It's about 10, 11 kilograms, yes. And what size do they grow to? Up to 34 kilograms. 70 pounds? 70 pounds. Oh, I bet a fish that size fights harder. Oh, it fights very hard. <laughs> well, that'll do me for my first fish off the beach. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a spotted gully shark, yes. Don't they take the bait? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wang! <laughs> I thought the rod was going <laughs> yeah. in there. What does it feel like, Lee? Yeah, he's going. Good? It's going, yeah. Going it well. good. I think he's coming in. Every now and again, they sort of go through a, a, yeah. a bit of kelp, don't they? And you can, Feel the legs racing, and you just got to keep coming on the move, have you? Just keep pumping it. Let's walk down a bit now. <laughs> it's not taking really lots of surges no, or not, no, is no. it? They're just dogging one second through the kelp, the next minute. Oh. What bait did you have on with this? I think I had a uh, mullet head on this one. Yeah, they're, they're a good bait because you're liable to get anything, but uh, this doesn't seem like a whaler, does it? It's, uh, nah, it's not big enough. No, he's pulling that rod over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's still pulling. Yeah. It's all, uh, 
don't need to visit the gym tonight now, do you? <laughs> Getting your work out in the middle of the day, because I used to look like that, you know, but I've shrunk over the years. But, uh, I'm not. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Come on, let's see if we can get this in. Yeah, it's another spotty Lee. Deliverance from the surf. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. There he is. Oh, that's bigger than my one. Okay, well done. Oh. oh. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Hold the tail. And that's a... That's a male. Mine was a female, there's its claspers. Your one's a mile. That's got to be the best part of 30 pounds. Hey, <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> well Bigger done. Yours, <laughs> yeah. Marvellous fishing. Here, along the Skellington coast, eh? <laughs> and we've only just started. There's a lot of surf running, but word along the beach has it that bronze whaler sharks are moving close inshore. Otmar has filled our rubby dubby bag with fresh cut chunks of mackerel and mullet. So action looks imminent. Even the local talent's about. Otmar's doing a war dance all over the bag to release those attractive fish oils, blood and juices. It's all about to happen. Hey, go on, go on then. Yeah, hit it, hit it. Well done, Lee, yes! Whoa! Well done. Yeah, Lee's in. <laughs> hey, wasn't that some bite, the way that went over? <laughs> Shall I leave mine in for the moment, uh, Lotma? Let him go out and pass mine first. Yeah? That's going, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that off. Come off. Off? Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. That's the second one we've lost in five minutes. Oh, Oy vey, as they say. I think the line might have been. I think the line might have just snapped. OK. He bit the nail and tore his oh, piece. Dear Lord. Bit through the shock leader. You can feel that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, it's... it's oh, dear. It, if it's a break, it's straight. Yeah. If it's a cut from the teeth, it's like this. Yeah. You can see immediately. <laughs> Bad luck, Lee. Yeah, it's it. Never mind. Never <laughs> mind. They're going to come. They're going to come. Better get tackled up again. OK. <laughs> All right, OK. We're having some bad luck today. Bad luck today. 50 yards to our right, however, someone else's luck was definitely in, as a local guide slammed the hook home into a big bronzy for his German guests. This weather's on the change, Otmar. Do you think this dull weather's going to move over? I don't... It's heavy to say, but it won't rain. But, uh, <laughs> it will come slowly back. This. Oh, it's a pity, because it's so much nicer with the sun out, isn't it? Yeah, Actually, it's I been a mad half an hour. Otmar lost one, then Lee lost one. They missed me, and the German guy over there, he's just got one. It's been a mad 20 minutes, absolutely mad. And uh, any second we're expecting another bite. There must be so many sharks out here. It's uh, one hell of a place, this skeleton coast, it really is. That was a sort of a wave of fish move through, Otmar, didn't it? Yeah. Are we waiting for the next wave to come through? Yeah, hopefully they can. Do you think they come through in twos and threes, or bigger groups, or...? Uh, there can be bigger groups, but maybe one or two or three, yeah. but also bigger ones. That's... you can't say before. Well, it's certainly expected stuff. 
He's having a hell of a job with that fish over there, Aunt Mar, isn't he? It's a nice fish, yeah. Hell of a job. Word had certainly got around there was action on the beach. Being suddenly connected to a sizeable bronze whaler that rips over 200 yards from the reel in next to no time at all is not for the inexperienced. And our shell-suited friends who had never before felt such raw animal power were quickly feeling the strain, initiating a changeover every few minutes. A wise piece of advice from their guide. If you hook them correctly, it will be 80 to 100 kilo. Oh. So we'll be in a good hour flying that in then. Easy, easy yeah. one hour, yes. And they were too. Their guides soon had them repeatedly walking back up and down the beach in order to recover line, because it's impossible to wind against such incredible torque. Then, following more than an hour of blood, sweat and tears, their prize was finally in the breakers whereupon their guide dashed into the surf to grab the shark by the tail. Looking as though he could do with some help, I wound my bait in and offered another pair of hands. It's always exciting and dangerous stuff, this, hauling an angry shark from its domain, and you have to be particularly careful. <laughs> this thick set bronzy was equipped with immense jaws and probably weighed close to the 200 pounds mark. Can you make, can you make a few pictures? Hurry. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get bitten. Oh, please hurry. Okay. Yes, yeah, all right. Okay. One more. <laughs> then it was time for its return into the Atlantic Ocean from whence it came. Always a most memorable and joyous occasion. Were our German friends happy bunnies or what? Now it was our turn. As the strong afternoon sun was setting, and right at the top of the tide, a big bronzy picked up Lee's mackerel head and zoomed off over the reef, screaming line from the reel. For several minutes, it was a case of simply holding on. Just listen to Lee's line stretched like a guitar string, whistling in the wind. Then there was a tactical decision to be made. Uh, does he want to go down or not? No, 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 stay, stay, stay. Just watch them guys up top. Uh, he's right down there. He's got his, his... But he's not that so far out. He, he's... Well, he is, he's 200 yards. Think? Yes. Let's have a look. OK. Mo, you must, you must come, go over here. Unfortunately, Lee's shark was heading along the shoreline towards Angola and kiting well, into the quick. breakers. So Otmar asked his Sorry, guiding man. buddy Shane if his two guests could reel in, which they were only too huh? pleased to do. Oh. Uh, go up, up, up. Whoa. One taut line touching go another up, immediately up. acts like a cheese cutter, which could have resulted in a lost shark for Lee. But with Otmar orchestrating events, everything was under control. These were certainly a few tense minutes, but then Otmar saw Lee's shark in the surf and he was after it like a terrier after a rabbit. You must get me side, get me side! Yeah! 
yes, 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 yes. Otmar's fellow guide Shane was close at hand to help him haul Lee's bronzy from the breakers. And the battle was all over. Thanks. I'm out of breath. I had to wind me rod in. Go and get the camera and the pliers. Hey, first of all, <laughs> that's lovely, eh? Well done, mate. You beat me, old man. <laughs> Look at those jaws. That's just. Oh, your hook nearly fell out. Look at those jaws. Look at the teeth on them. You, you can hit. Oops. <laughs> you can just about. Those teeth, can't you? It's a nice fish. That's got to be what, 150, 160, yeah. something like that, aren't they? Aren't they thick? Huh? Beautiful fish. I also call this the copper shark in South Africa because it's got this lovely coppery sheen. But aren't they athletic? Big God, fins. Yeah. That's why they fight so hardly. Isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful big fins. Broad head, but basically they're the athlete of the shark world. Which is Back in a minute, which is why the hell did he such high steam? That's fabulous, isn't it? Huh? Gave you a good <laughs> fight. Hello, was it? 20, uh, no, actually, you did well. That I think it was 25 to 7, it's now 10 past, so 35 minutes. Not bad. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's take a few steals, shall we? Yeah. I'll get the camera. Okay, Lee, smile. <laughs> Lovely. That's lovely. Right, put his head round this way. Lee. Oh, hold on to him. Turn him what? <laughs> Turn him around. There he goes. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Otmar has driven us way north of Swakopond to mile 72, where the Heinrich Mountains provide a most picturesque backdrop to the edge of the Namib Desert. It's time to get serious about bronze whalers. But before I cast, let me show you the specialised tackle that we use for landing these bronze whalers. Okay, most of the rods here that Otmar uses are 14 foot South African carbon one piece rods. Mine's a British beach caster with a, a medium bottom joint and a long top one, making it 14 and a half feet altogether. And the reel, well, this is a 10,000 size multiplier, and I've got 300 yards of 30 pound test on it. And with a 25% inherent stretching monofilament, that gives me something like 400 yards to play with. And if I haven't got it in by then, well, then I don't deserve to be fishing for it in, in the first place. Now, to the 30 pound monofilament. I've tied on a bimini twist knot which goes through two half hitches onto the 100 pound rubbing leader with a five turn uni knot. And then the rubbing leader, 100 pound test to stop the abrasion of the shark's rough skin, goes the length of the rod and all the way down to the trace, the wire trace, with a lead slider and a bead above. And on the business end of the wire trace, is a size 9-0 hook. And then the lead link is on 20 inches of 40 pound line. And I've got a six ounce breakaway on the business end. You might notice that I'm wearing yachting gloves here. It's because holding a rod for a long time does tend to give you hand cramp if you should play a bronze whaler for anything up to two hours. And you've got to remember these fish can be bigger than yourself. They're something completely different. And on my thumb, I've got a little bit of plastic finger off a, a glove that acts as a thummy to break the spool. And for bait, we're using fresh mullet heads, which really cast well, because roaming along the surf line, attracted by a rubby dubby trail of crushed mackerel and mullet, were several large bronze whalers. Here we are, it's sort of going on here. We're miles from nowhere. We've got a shark in the surf that we're trying to, to spot. And we've just <laughs> we've got a micro light going overhead. Would you believe it? What a place. Strangely, for quite some time they ignored our bait, which was extremely frustrating. You tend to believe those stories of sharks being bloodlusting killers. 
but not so, believe me. Eventually, however, they could not resist the aromatic juices of a freshly killed fish, and both Lee and I simultaneously hooked up. It was about time, too. You're in as well, mate. It was a wonderful, truly mad and manic moment for us both. Hold him tight, hold him tight. Oh, no, he's still driving. Still there. I naturally assumed we were both into sizeable bronze whalers, but that wasn't the case. There's a cow shark! What? <laughs> cow shark, bring him in yeah. quick, let's have a look at him. I well, know these are quite rare. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, he will bite. Watch his feet, watch his mouth. He's like a dog. Because he'll snap. He's just okay. a bulldog. OK, OK, OK. OK. What? Get it in. Don't talk about a double head at him. I don't know whether I've got another one of those or a bronzy. You know, I was cast into those bronzies in the edge. I saw one move right to left and wham! Just as Lee pulled into that, I had something on the end here. I don't think there's a cow shark, but you got on. I think it's but a bronzy. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's a bronzy. <laughs> Oh, this fishing here in Namibia, there must be so many sharks out here. Unbelievable fun. Look at what a double header. Now, you have a look at the jaws on that. That is something else. Cool, I wouldn't like to put my foot in there, would you? Oh, I'm so glad we got one of these sharks eventually that have been repeatedly coming in here. They've been refusing our baits. It's just been like chubbing on the upper wensum. You see it, a chub, you swing it a worm or a a slug and it takes it and this is just what the shark fishing's been like. Most unusual but so exciting. Hey, well done you cow shark. I just put it back. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I wanted to go and have a look and do a two shot and all that but it's, it was impossible. I don't know what this is. It's taking a lot of life. I know. Well Lee, God. all those fish in the surf took some time to actually uh, Get one of them to pick up, and then one hand, we get, get them both pick up together. Oh, listen to that Look line, this. honey. It's amazing, you know, what a 30 pound line. I'm leaning on it. If this line goes, I'm passing me back. Australia, this same shark uh, grows to over six, seven hundred pounds, and it's classed as a man eater, isn't it, in Australia? Yeah. And yet we pe we see people swimming here. You yeah. never had anybody taken. You never had any shark attack in Namibia. Well, I tell you what, I wouldn't go paddling too deep. <laughs> <laughs> well, these are the best sharks I've ever caught. The fastest, the most powerful, a wonderful sport. Really wonderful. No wonder you get so many people out here, Otmar. Oh, no. Everybody wants to catch a ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, that cow shark you had put up a great fight, didn't it? Yeah, it was sort of ha hammering down the body, you know. It was hammering very down doggy, the very doggy. Yeah, yeah. And you don't catch many of those here, you know, so that's a... That's a Oh, I've never caught a cow shark before, so that's my first one. That's, well, that's one up you got on me, then. He's still not tired. He's still under the water. Taking you out? Yeah. Oh. Have you seen it yet? No, I don't see it at all. Still must be out of Oh, well, I don't feel too bad at all. Perhaps I'm getting younger, who knows? <laughs> it's wonderful, self-inflicted pain. The tail's just come up. It's about four breakers out. Hold him, Lee. Hold him on the, on the tail. Hold him. Following a 30-minute battle, jumping into the surf to grab a shark by the tail is not for the faint-hearted, believe me. One careless move and the quarry quickly becomes the attacker. So not surprisingly, Lee and Otmar tackle the job with extreme caution. Pull him off. Absolutely.
absolutely fantastic. That was fantastic. I, I, I had more fun watching you two falling yeah. over in the surf. <laughs> oh, the kit back is so strong. I know. And he's only a baby. He's nothing like that one that I was casting to, is it? Nothing at all. That was twice the size. Anyway. Whoa. What a lovely fight. Beautiful colour, aren't they? Beautiful colour. Beautiful, beautiful colour. Do you want to unhook him, Ma? Uh, uh, Do you think you could lift that up for a picture, Lee? Yeah. That'll lift I'll go and get my camera. Well, I'm glad you put the fleece on, Lee, otherwise you'd get <laughs> sandpaper burns. They've got big mouths, these bronze whalers, for their size, haven't they? All these little sensory denticles there is how it registers, it smells the blood and all the vibrations in the water. They've got very big pecs, which is why they fight so hard. That lovely coppery sheen. And of course, if you, if you rub your hand the wrong way against the shark, look, you can't. You get a terrible mark. Huge tails. Well, you're the weightlifter. What does it weigh, Lee? It's over 100 pounds, anyway. It's only half the size of that one. I was stalking in the surf, though, isn't it? I know. Okay. But how bad's that for some wonderful beach fishing, eh? <laughs> Thank you, Namibia. And of course, all these fish we lovingly return, hopefully, to fight another day. Away you go, my son. <laughs> there he goes. We've now crossed the Atlantic from Namibia to the famous Florida Keys. 70 miles south of Miami to Isla Mirada, where everything is geared towards holidaying anglers having a great time. We're here to catch shallow water sharks from the 17-foot skiff skippered by John Rawl. And my special guest is Chris Tarrant. Well, John's put the pole in in a super spot here on the edge of this bank with a, a real gully from which the sharks can make their way up tide. How much have we got left of this uh, outgoing tide, John? There's about two hours of the outgoing tide left. It's slowing all the time yeah. now, you know, so it's, um, it's running down to a stop. Better get this um, oh. rubby dubby in here quick, hadn't I, hey? Ooh, they're wonderful, these frozen rubby dubby blocks. Bits of shrimp and fish all frozen in a block. And you can put this in the, uh, in the bag and it'll break up and really entice all sorts of fish including sharks up towards the boat let's just uh, this is rather smelly though like, oh god dear me let's just <laughs> get this in the oh, get that in the bag give it a bit of a dunk and put it over this cleat and five minutes time we should have all manner of fish working their way up to it right what bait have you got for me john and we'll start off, we've got barracudas and jacks here, Chris. We'll start off with a little little jack. Just cut, cut the back end off to let a bit of blood leak. Oh, lovely. <laughs> and a big shark will take a fish as small as that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll be doing some bait catching here as well once this rubby dubby bag gets going, John. Yeah, the, the, the bag's working pretty good at the moment. I've had a fish around it already. Yeah. Good. Just, just nipping through the bottom lip. Just feed that out. Okay, what, same for me, John? Yep, nice. It's just quite a small amount of shark fishing, isn't it? What, 5-0? Yeah, it's about 5 that's all you need, John. And what's the wire? Single about, strand? About 120 pounds Is single, it? single strand. And what, about 25 pound real line? Something the like the that, real line's 25 pounds, yeah, yeah. Good. Well, it's sporting tackle, isn't it? Even, and yeah. we're liable to get shark possibly up to, what, a couple hundred pounds? You've got a good chance of getting one up to a couple of hundred pounds, Great. Yeah. Great. It's like trotting the kennel. <laughs> it isn't. The water's so clear oh, here, isn't it? Like Beautiful and clear. Beautiful and clear. Beautiful. Okay. You've got a chunk of barracuda, John. Okay, fine, yeah. If you, do you want to put that on for me? Thanks, John. Slab of that. Mmm. Lovely. Okay, thanks very much indeed. That's nice and bloody, isn't it? Look at that. God, oh. If I was a shark, I'd have that. <laughs> right, here we go. Just plonk this down here and, and trot it down behind yours, yeah, uh, John. Oh, there's a shark right away. Look at that. There's a lemon, well, about 100. I think my bait almost hit it on the head. Let's have a yeah, look. Where's it gone now? Right, are you up for this thing, Chris? Yeah, very much. Yeah, it's going to happen any minute. I, I just feel it. It's such beautiful water, and it's stunning. 
Here, John, that dish to the chum slick. That'll enhance things a little bit. OK, so, let's just put that... Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, keep your hanging over the sauce nice. so we don't drip blood oh, everywhere. Lovely. Nice fresh cuda. Mm. Right, let's put him on the cleat. Yeah, that bag's bringing all sorts of little fish in now. That's starting to thaw out, really. Look at that slick there. Beautiful. Millions of little particles of goodies that... Um, are going to attract our sharks. It's looking good, looking good. It's amazing how these sharks sniff this rubby dubby bag, isn't it? How, how far away do you think it draws them from, John? I don't know, quite a long way, John. You know, the, the current running here, probably two, three, two, two, and about two mile an hour. Yeah. So over, over an hour, that's going to take that smell of my, at least <laughs> two miles. They, they can pick up one part of blood in a million, so a long way. <laughs> It amazes me how they come quartering up like a marsh harrier, don't they? Slowly going round and round, covering every... Once you set yours, Chris. Oh, Chris is in, Chris is in, yeah. Yeah, Chris is in. It's going. Did it. Really? Take your ratchet off and hit it. Right. Yes? Take them off, take them off. That's all now. It was about two yards from the front. We didn't expect that one there, did we? I think that's probably one of those lemons, isn't it, John? Speak it's a good one, is it? Oh, well done. Just let it go, Chris. Don't stop it. You'll burn right. your, burn your right, thumb. It, do what no, he's to burnt his thumb. thumb. <laughs> God, that caught us all nothing, didn't it? Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, it took it and went, didn't it? Now, I don't know whether to pull mine in or well, leave it. Yeah, leave it. Wind it in, John. Wind it in. All right, let's get this in quickly, then. <laughs> There's another one coming up just there, Chris. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh he's oh, shot off. See? It. Was that a black tip, John? No. Oh. Look like a lemon, John. Does it? He, he, he won't go far. All no, right. Go far. Let's have some fun with a double hook up then, Chris, eh? Okay. You never know, dear. Then go, then go, then go. Big fish, Chris. Now, is he getting the gist of that? Not the way to let him go. I've actually got any choice. <laughs> let him go. It could go wherever it wants. You've made yeah. nothing on that, Tarrant. Look at you. You're a right wuss. Oh, here we go. Somebody's got mine. Is it the nurse? Oh, no, no it's, it's a, a, it's a, it's a little, tiny little... little um, oh, well, let's get him out of the way straight away. Yes. Ah. I was hoping that nurse would um, come up and nobble that. There was a little black tip. Oh, there's the nurse well, shark no. again. Look at that, Chris. We're yeah. both playing sharks and we got one down oh, yeah. there. What's that, about 70, John, that? Oh, he's coming up to the... Set. He's going for the barracuda. Just Look, here he comes. Away, quick. Just pull it out of the way. <laughs> oh, hang on. Now, let go of it. Let go of it. Let go of him. That's fantastic. We've got a shark on each. Oh, wait, we got a... Sh and we got, a, on we, got a, we got a banker <laughs> on the uh, cuda. Go on, have another go at it, my son. Out here. Go on, have another go. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Is that magic or what? Is that magic? Now, oh, I've got two sharks, but I've, but I've only got one rod. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> give, us a, give us the rod, John. Pull that away from me. Now, look, leave it alone, you. Look at that, he's had half the barracuda. God damn me. I think you're going to have to do a bit of fast pumping, Chris. You're never going to get that back. I couldn't before because it was... Yeah, I couldn't before because it was so close to that reef. Oh, that nurse has gone off now. Oh, yes. So there is. Well, let's get this black tip in, John, eh? Right, here he comes. It's not a black tip, John, it is a lemon. A lemon yeah, yeah it is a lemon. OK. I'll let you do the honours. Not stuck in. That was a good fire. Oh, that was a lovely fast fight, that was. Um, lovely fishing, it is. Lovely fishing. And he'll soon get rid of that, won't he? He'll get rid of that. Got it, John. Got it. Got it. Oh, he's got it. Right, OK. Yes. Here we go. Yes. No, it's the nurse, not the lemon. I don't think so. No, there's the lemon. He's gone past it. Look, <laughs> crafty, aren't they? Eh? I said he loves to eat water. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's this? No, it's one of those nurse sharks. John's got it. Yeah. Whoa! 
Well, I won't have it. It's still right, heavy. I'm going to go a bit heavy on this one. The thing about nurse sharks is they haven't got the the inherent speed of. Whoop! It's around the rubby dubby bag there. It's right round there. They haven't got the inherent speed of the black tips, and but this is quite a big nurse shark. There he is. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! That's a thrasher, John. This one. Lovely colour, aren't they? This sort of phosphor bronze colour. Yeah. We're going to be in trouble here in a minute. Oh, right. No. Put hard right on it, Chris. Hard right. <laughs> we got shark soup here. Shark City. Great. Right. <laughs> John, I think we're we're all right on this one. OK, yeah. The old nurse sharks, they, they just haven't got the same jaw structure, have they, as, um, as um, lemons. They've got very small teeth, but they can still bruise your hand if they get hold of you, can't they? What was that, about 70, something like that? Yeah? Well, that was a good short, sharp tussle, wasn't it? Let's get rigged up again, John. Yeah. Uh, can we get OK, yeah. Well, I've, uh, I, I don't like to point out, but I've hooked two and got them in while he's woosing the bat with this one. But, um... Can you see the size of it? You've... Like, right, look at it. <laughs> Try to walk him up front a bit, Chris, not grab the leader. Right. Walk him right around it. Yeah. Keep a bit, a bit of pressure on him now. Stop him getting underway again. That other Love. big lemon's still out there, John. <laughs> Let's try and get it around the front, shall we? <laughs> Let's try and get it around you, John. Uh, what is oh. your biggest shark ever, Chris? That, whatever that this is. This is it, that's it. Look at the size. <laughs> He's good. Oh, God. Yes, good <laughs> fish, isn't it? God, no pound pound nice fish. Look at the teeth on that. Oh. Hey? There's no way we can get this fish in the boat, so we're going to appreciate it, have a good look at it, and um, let it go back to fight another day. That's a nice oh, fish. Well, well done, Chris. Well done. That fight really hard. Yeah. Mind you, but look at the length and the, the that, power at the tail. That the gave you fins. a good old strop, that, didn't it, eh? Yeah. Hey? Uh, look at those teeth. They must have been about 200 yards over them. Yeah. Oh, look at that mouth. Tell you what that right, is. Well yeah. done, John. Well, well done, mate. <laughs> Can we go home now, please, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Does he want to go down or not? No, 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 stay, stay, stay. Just watch them guys up there. Uh, he's right down there. But he's, he's... But he's not so far out. He's... Well, he is, he's 200 yards. Think? Yes. Let's have a look. OK. Mo, you must, you must come, go over here. Unfortunately, Lee's shark was heading along the shoreline towards Angola and kiting into the breakers. So Otmar asked his guiding buddy Shane if his two guests could reel in, which they were only too pleased to do. Oh. Go up, up, up. Go up. One taut line touching another immediately acts like a cheese cutter, which could have resulted in a lost shark for Lee. But with Otmar orchestrating events, everything was under control. These were certainly a few tense minutes, but then Otmar saw Lee shark in the surf and he was after it like a terrier after a rabbit. You must come this side, come this side! Yes, 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 yes! 
Otmar's fellow guide Shane was close at hand to help him haul Lee's bronzy from the breakers. And the battle was all over. Thanks. I'm out of breath, I'm right, so why am I rodding? Go and get the camera and the pliers. Hey, first of all... <laughs> that's lovely, eh? Well done, mate. You beat me, old man. <laughs> Look at those jaws, that's just... Oh, your hook nearly fell out. Look at those jaws. Look at the teeth on them. You can hit, oops, <laughs> you can just about hear those teeth, can't you? It's a nice fish, that's got to be, what, 150, 160, something yeah. like that, aren't they? And they thick, huh? Beautiful fish. They also call this the copper shark in South Africa, because it's got this lovely coppery sheen, but aren't they athletic? Big God, fins, yeah. that's why they the fight deep. so hardly, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful big fins, broad head, but basically, they're the athlete of the shark world, which is... We're going to put him back in a minute, which is why they're held in such high esteem. That's fabulous, isn't it, huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we are. Oh. Deliverance from the surf. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Hold the tail. And that's a that's a male. Mine was a female, those it's claspers. Your one's a male. That's got to be the best part of 30 pounds. Hey. <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> well Bigger done. Yours, <laughs> yeah. Marvellous fishing. Here, along the Skellington coast, eh? <laughs> and we've only just started. There's a lot of surf running, but word along the beach has it that bronze whaler sharks are moving close inshore. Otmar has filled our rubby dubby bag with fresh cut chunks of mackerel and mullet, so action looks imminent. Even the local talent's about. Otmar's doing a war dance all over the bag to release those attractive fish oils, blood and juices. It's all about to happen. Hey, go on, go on then. Yeah, hit it, hit it. Well done, Lee, yes! Whoa! Well done. Yeah, Lee's in. <laughs> hey, wasn't that some bite, the way that went over? <laughs> Shall I leave mine in for the moment, uh, Otmar? Let him go out and pass mine first. Yeah? That's going, look at that. <laughs> that is... Off. Come off. Off? Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. That's the second one we've lost in five minutes. Oh, Oy vey, as they say. I think the line might have right? I think the line might have just snapped. Okay, he bit the nylon too, with a piece, you can see. Bit through the shock leader. You can feel that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, it's... it's oh, it, dear. If it's a break, it's straight. Yeah. If it's a cut from the teeth, it's like this. Yeah. You can see immediately. <laughs> Bad luck, Lee. Yeah, it's it. Did you believe it? What a place. Strangely, for quite some time, they ignored our base, which was extremely frustrating. You tend to believe those stories of sharks being bloodlusting killers, but not so, believe me. Eventually, however, they could not resist the aromatic juices of a freshly killed fish, and both Lee and I simultaneously hooked up. It was about time too. You're in as well, Lee. It was a wonderful, truly mad and manic moment for us both. Hold them tight, hold them tight. Oh no, you still got him. Still there. 
I naturally assumed we were both into sizeable bronze whalers, but that wasn't the case. It's a cow shark. <laughs> cow shark, bring him in yeah. quick. Let's have a look at him. <laughs> well, I know these are quite rare. Yeah. <laughs> Careful, he will bite. Watch his feet. Watch his mouth. He's like a dog. Because he'll snap. He's just okay. a bulldog. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What? Get it in. Oh, I took her out a double head in here. I don't know whether I've got another one of those or a bronzy. You know, I was cast into those bronzies in the edge. Uh, I saw one move right to left and wham! Just as Lee pulled into that, I had something on the end here. I don't think there's a cow shark, but you go down. I think it's but a bronzy. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I think it's a bronzy. <laughs> oh, this fishing here in Namibia, there must be so many sharks out here. Unbelievable fun. Look at what a double header. Now you have a look at the jaws on that. That is something else. Cool, I wouldn't like to put my foot in there, would you? Oh, I'm so glad we got one of these sharks eventually that have been repeatedly coming in here. They've been refusing our baits. It's just been like chubbing on the upper wensum. You see it, a chub, you swing it a worm or a, a slug and it takes it. And this is just what the shark fishing's been like. Most unusual, but so exciting. Sure. I just threw it back. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I wanted to go and have a look and do a two shot and all that, but this, it was impossible. I don't know what this is. Take a lot of life. I know. Well, Lee, God. all those fish in the surf took some time to actually uh, get one of them to pick up, and then what happens? We get, get them both pick up together. Whoa, listen to that Big line fish. coming. It's amazing, you know, what 30 pound line, I'm leaning on it. If, this line goes on, passing me back. <laughs> Look at that line go, Lee. in yet. Oh. Well, you know in Australia, this same shark um, grows to over six, seven hundred pounds and it's classed as a man-eater, isn't it, in Australia? And yet we peak we... Right, here he comes. It's not a black tip, John, it is a lemon. A lemon yeah, yeah it is a lemon. Okay. I'll let you do the honors. Not stuck in. Right, here we go. Well, that was a good fire. Oh, that was a lovely fast fight, that was. Um, lovely fishing, it is. Lovely fishing. And he'll soon get rid of that, won't he? Got, got it, John. Got, 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 it, got, got, it, got, got it. Oh, he's got it. Right, OK. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Ah. No, it's a nurse, not the lemon. I don't think so. No, there's the lemon. He's gone past it. Look, <laughs> they crafty, aren't they? Eh? I said he never water again. <laughs> No, what's this? No, it's one of those nurse sharks John's got it. Yeah. Mine Whoa! Won't have it. Mine won't have it, it's still... Right, I'm going to go a bit heavy on this one. The thing about nurse sharks is they haven't got the, the inherent speed of... Whoop, it's around the rubby dubby bag there. It's right around there. They haven't got the inherent speed of the black tips and... But this is quite a big nurse shark. There he is. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! That's a thrasher, John, this one. It off. It's on grass, so yeah. Lovely colour, aren't they? This sort of phosphor bronze colour. Yeah. We're going to be in trouble here in a minute. Oh, no. Right. Put hard right on it, Chris. Hard right. <laughs> <laughs> We've got shark soup here. Shark City. Great. Right. <sighs> <laughs> John, I think we're we're all right on this one. Okay, one. yeah. The old nurse sharks, they, they just haven't got the same jaw structure, have they, as um no. as um 
lemons. They've got very small teeth, but they can still bruise your hand if they get hold of you, can't Sorry, they? they give you a nasty stab. What was that, about 70, something like that? 70, 80 pounds, yeah. yeah. Well, that was a good, short, sharp tussle, wasn't it? Let's get rigged up again, John. Yeah. Uh, shall we get Chris's fishing? First? Okay, yeah. Well, I've, uh, I, I don't like to point out, but I've hooked two and got them in while he's woosing about with this one. But, um, Let me see the size of it. You've you've like, <laughs> right, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> this thick set bronzy was equipped with immense jaws and probably weighed close to the 200 pounds mark. Can you make, can you make a few pictures? Yeah, Hurry. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get bitten. <laughs> oh, please, Harry. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. Okay. One more. <laughs> then it was time for its return into the Atlantic Ocean from whence it came. Always a most memorable and joyous occasion. Were our German friends happy bunnies or what? Now it was our turn. As the strong afternoon sun was setting, and right at the top of the tide, a big bronzy picked up Lee's mackerel head and zoomed off over the reef, screaming line from the reel. For several minutes, it was a case of simply holding on. Just listen to Lee's line stretched like a guitar string, whistling in the wind. Then there was a tactical decision to be made. Uh, does he want to go down or not? No, 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 stay, stay, stay. Just watch them guys up on uh, He's right down there. He's got his, his... But he's not that so far out. He, he's... Well, he is, he's 200 yards. I think? Yes. Let's have a look. OK. Mo, you must, you must come, go over here. Unfortunately, Lee's shark was heading along the shoreline towards Angola and kiting into the breakers. So Otmar asked his guiding buddy Shane if his two guests could reel in, which they were only too pleased to do. Go up, up, up. One taut line touching another immediately acts like a cheese cutter, which could have resulted in a lost shark for Lee. But with Otmar orchestrating events, everything was under control. These were certainly a few tense minutes, but then Otmar saw Lee's shark in the surf and he was after it like a terrier after a rabbit. You must come this side, come this side! Yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. That's the second one we've lost in five minutes. Oh, really? Oy as they say. I think the line might have uh... I think the line might have just snapped. OK. You bit the nail on two of his teeth, you can Lord. see. Bit through the shock leader. You can feel that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, it's... it's oh, dear. It, if it's a break, it's straight. Yeah. If it's a cut from the teeth, it's like this. Yeah. You can see immediately. <laughs> Bad luck, Lee. Yeah, Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, they're going to come, they're going to come. Better get tackled up again. <laughs> OK. All right, OK. We're having some bad luck today. Bad luck today. 50 yards to our right, however, someone else's luck was definitely in, as a local guide slammed the hook home into a big bronzy for his German guests. This weather's on the change, Otmar. Do you think this dull weather's going to move over? I don't... 
is happy to say, but it won't rain. But uh, <laughs> it will come slowly back. This. Oh, it's a pity, because it's so much nicer with the sun out, isn't it? Actually, yeah, it's been sure. a mad half an hour. Otmar lost one, then Lee lost one. They missed me, and the German guy over there, he's just got one. It's been a mad 20 minutes, absolutely mad. And uh, any second we're expecting another bite. There must be so many sharks out here. It's uh, one hell of a place, this skeleton coast, it really is. That was a sort of a wave of fish move through, Otmar, didn't it? Yeah. Are we waiting for the next wave to come through? Yeah, hopefully they can. Do you think they come through in twos and threes, or bigger groups, or...? Uh, there can be bigger groups, but maybe one or two or three, yeah. but also bigger ones. That's you can't say before. Well, it's certainly expectant stuff. He's having a hell of a job with that fish over there, Otmar, isn't he? It's a nice fish, yeah. Hell of a job. Word had certainly got around there was action on the beach. Being suddenly connected to a sizeable bronze whaler that rips over 200 yards from the reel in next to no time at all is not for the inexperienced. And our shell-suited friends who had never before felt such raw animal power... Slowly going round and round, covering every... Why don't you set yours, Chris? Oh, Chris is in, Chris is in, yeah. Yeah, Chris is in. It's going. Did it. Really? Take your ratchet off and hit it. Right. Oh, yes? Take them off. Take them off. <laughs> I caught us all now. It was about two yards from the front. We didn't expect that one there, did we? I think that's probably one of those lemons, isn't it, John? It's a big one. It's a good one, is it? Oh, well done. Just let it go, Chris. Don't stop it. You'll burn your, you burn your thumb. No, he's burnt his thumb. <laughs> God, that caught us all nothing, didn't it? Yeah, well, all of a sudden it in, took it and went, didn't it? Now, I don't know whether to pull mine in or well, leave it. Yeah, leave it. Wind it in, John. Wind oh. it in. All right, let's get this in quickly, then. <laughs> There's another one coming up just there, Chris. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's oh, shot it's off, see? It. Was that a black tip, John? Oh, it looked like a lemon, John. Does it? He, he, he won't go far. No. All won't right. Go far. Let's have some fun with a double hook-up, then, Chris, eh? OK. You never know, dear. Now, is he getting the gist of that? Not the way let him go. That's actually got no choice. <laughs> let him go. It could go wherever it wants. You've made nothing on that, Tarrant. Look at you. You're a right wuss. Oh, here we go. Somebody's got mine. Is it the nurse? Oh, no, no it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, little, a tiny little... little um, oh, well, let's get him out of the way straight away. Yes. Ah. I was hoping that nurse would... Um, Come up and nobble that. There was a little black tip. Oh, there's the nurse That's shark right. again. Look at that, Chris. We're yeah. both playing sharks and we got one down yeah. there. What's that, about 70, John, that? Oh, he's coming up to the set. He's going for the barracuda. Just Look, here he comes. Let's pull it out of the way. Oh, hang on. Now, let go of it. Let go of it. Let go of him. That's fantastic. We've got a shark on each. Oh, wait, we got a shark. And we got, a, on we, got a, we got a banker <laughs> on the uh, cuda. Go on, have another go at it, my son. Swimming out here. Go on, have another. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> Is that magic or what? Is that magic? Now, oh, I've got two sharks, but I've, but I've only got one rod. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> give, us a, give us the rod, John. Pull that away from me. Now, look, leave it alone, you. Look at that. He's had half the barracuda. God damn me. I think you're going to have to do a bit of fast pumping, Chris. You're never going to get that back. I couldn't before because it was. Yeah, I couldn't before. It was so close to that reef. Oh, that nurse has gone off now. Oh, yes. So there is. Well, let's get this black tip in, John, eh? Right, here he comes. It's not a black tip, John. It is a lemon. Yeah, it is a lemon. Many of those here, you know, so that's a. That's a oh, I've never caught a cow shark before, so oh, that's, that's my first one. That's, <laughs> well, that's one up, you've got on me now. <laughs> He's still not tired, he's still under the water. Taking you out? Yeah. Oh. Have you seen it yet? No, I haven't seen it at all. Still must be out of 
I don't feel too bad at all. Perhaps I'm getting younger, who knows? <laughs> it's wonderful, self-inflicted pain. Sound just come up. It's about four breakers out. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Following a 30 minute battle, jumping into the surf to grab a shark by the tail is not for the faint hearted, believe me. One careless move and the quarry quickly becomes the attacker. So not surprisingly, Lee and Otmar tackle the job with extreme caution. Put him off. Put him off. Fantastic, that was. Thanks, I, I, I had more fun watching you two falling yeah. over in the surf. <laughs> oh, the kit back is so strong. I know. And he's only a baby. He's nothing like that one that I was casting to, is it? Nothing at all. That was twice the size. Anyway. Whoa. What a lovely fight. Beautiful colour, aren't they? Yeah. Beautiful colour. Beautiful, beautiful colour. Do you want to unhook him, uh, Otma? <laughs> Do you think you could lift that up for a picture, Lee? Yeah. Yeah, no, listen. I'll go and get my camera. <laughs> well, I'm glad you put the fleece on, Lee, otherwise you'd get <laughs> sandpaper burns. They've got big mouths, these bronze whalers, for their size, haven't they? All these little sensory denticles there is how it registers, it smells the blood and all the vibrations in the water they've got. Very big pecs, which is why they fight so hard. That lovely coppery sheen. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, Let's just get this. Oh, it's only just in that hook. Look at those teeth. Raspers. They're not like true canines. They've just got these sort of bands of little serrated teeth. But you wouldn't want to put your hand in there, would you, Mark? No, they can hurt you. <laughs> and just like we saw it, whoops, just like we saw in the aquarium, they've got this beautiful spotted, haven't they? Lovely body. They're very much like our tote back home, aren't they? Very so the coloration's even nicer. What's this, about 20 pounds? It's about 10, 11 kilograms, yes. And what size do they grow to? Up to 34 kilograms. 70 pounds? 70 pounds. Oh, I bet a fish that size fights harder. Oh, it fights very good. <laughs> well, that'll do me for my first fish off the beach. Yeah. <laughs> Mark? I think it's a spotted gully shark, yes. Don't they take the bait? Oh, yeah. Huh? yeah. Wow. <laughs> I thought the rod was going yeah. in there. What's it feel like, Lee? Yeah, he's going. Good? He's going, yeah. Going it's well. It's good. I think he's coming in. Every now and again, they sort of go through a, yeah. a bit of kelp, don't they? And you can, the legs racing, and you just got to keep coming on the move, haven't you? Just keep pumping it. Let's walk down a bit now. <laughs> it's not taking really lots of surges no, on that no, one, no. is it? They're just dogging, one second doing the kelp, the next minute you... Oh. 
What bike did you have on with this? I think I had a uh, mullet head on this one. Yeah, they're, they're a good bike because you're liable to get anything. But uh, this doesn't seem like a whaler, does it? It's, uh, no, it's not big but, enough. No, he's pulling that ro rod over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's still pulling. Yeah. Well, uh, don't need to visit the gym tonight now, do you? <laughs> Getting your work out in the middle of the day, because I used to look like that, you know, but I've shrunk over the years. But, uh, I'm not. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can get this. Got, 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 got it, John. Oh, he's got it. Right, OK. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Ah. No, it's a nurse, not the lemon. I don't think so. No, there's the lemon. He's gone past it. Look, <laughs> crafty, aren't they? Eh? I said he never water again. <laughs> No, what's this? No, it's one of those nurse sharks. John's got it. Yeah. Mine Whoa! Won't have it. Mine won't have it. It's still. Right, I'm going to go a bit heavy on this one. The thing about nurse sharks is they haven't got the the inherent speed of. Whoop! It's around the rubby dubby bag there. It's right around. There. They haven't got the inherent speed of the black tips and. But this is quite a big nurse shark. There he is. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! That's a thrasher, John. This one. Lovely colour, aren't they? This sort of phosphor bronze colour. Yeah. We're going to be in trouble here in a minute. Oh, no. Right. Put hard right on it, Chris. Hard right. <laughs> <laughs> we got shark soup here. Shark City. Great. Right. <sighs> <laughs> John, I think we're we're all right on this one. Okay, yeah. The old nurse sharks, they they just haven't got the same jaw structure, have they, as um as um Lemons, they've got very small teeth, but they can still bruise your hand if they get hold of you, can't they? What was that, about 70, something like that? Yeah? Well, that was a good short, sharp tussle, wasn't it? Let's get rigged up again, John. Yeah. Uh, can we get Chris's fishing? Okay, yeah. Well, I've, uh, I, I don't like to point out, but I've hooked two and got them in while he's woosing about with this one. But, um. Can you see the size of it? You've. Like, <laughs> right, look at it. <laughs> Try to walk him up front a bit, Chris, not grab the leader. Right. Walk him right around it. Yeah. Keep a bit of pressure on him now. Stop him getting underway. Again. That other Lower. big lemon's still out there, John. <laughs> Let's try and get it around the front, shall we? <laughs> Swing it round to you, John. Uh, what is oh. your biggest shark ever, that, Chris? Whatever that this is. This is it, that's it. Look at the size. <laughs> good. Oh, yes, that's good that's fish, isn't it? 180, God, no nice fish. Look at the teeth on that. Oh. Hey? There's no way we can get this fish in the boat, so we're going to appreciate it, have a good look at it, and um, 